<sighs> All right. We, it's Friday, January 20th, 19th, 20th, 19th, 20th. I'm packing right now. We say hi. This is Brew. Oh, oh, oh my. Right now, we leave in about three hours. We're going to start driving to West Virginia. <laughs> it's going to be, by the way, 16 degrees in West Virginia. I thought it was warm in West Virginia. I was like, oh, we're like going on a warm vacation. <laughs> it's a seven hour drive um, with no traffic. So hopefully I don't think we're going to hit much traffic um, because we're going to nowhere, middle of nowhere. Um, but it should be about seven hours. Obviously, I'll take you. You guys are coming along on the entire adventure. And the ghost hunt is tomorrow, Saturday. I'm staying overnight at the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. Why? That's a great question. Is... This is a high school friend, a family that I grew up with um, when I lived in Maine. So they're from Maine. And their daughter, who like when I was growing up, she was eight. So like, I can't believe she's 25 now. Um, but their daughter on her bucket list had always wanted to go do this overnight stay at this like place that's the, literally the most haunted in the world. And she was like asking me if I would go with her. Um... And, like, she has epilepsy, and this has been, like, on her bucket list, and I just, like, couldn't say no. And it was, like, a, you know, an old family friend, and at the time, I was, like, that sounds like fun. So it has always been on my bucket list to do it, but, like, now that it's, I know, but now that it's, like, tomorrow, I'm not well. I'm not well. So I'm gonna go finish packing, and then we're gonna hit the road to West Virginia. All right, guys, car is packed. It's literally, a, it's literally blizzarding and it's 22 degrees and we were driving to West Virginia to the ghost hunt. We just left our pet sitter. They are, the animals are in great hands. Now let's drive seven hours in a blizzard to the middle of West Virginia. Let's go. Go Packers. So we are pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Um, and there's one restaurant, it's called Pizza Time 3. Um, we've been driving for four hours. It's about four o'clock now. We've got another like three hours to go, but it's snowing. We're in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. This is the restaurant. Gorgeous. Obviously, we had to do the appetizer plaza. The plaza. The appetizer spread. Everything fried. Check. Fried ravioli. I'm gonna guess broccoli. Mm. Oh, we're recording. Sorry. Talk your life away. Oh, cheesy broccoli. We're basically having a salad. It's just everything's fried. And homemade ranch and homemade marinara. Honestly, this place is bussin'. This, I feel like we're in a snow globe. <laughs> this is insane. It's Virginia, we're here. Right. We finally got to West Virginia. Through the snowstorm, and we're at the diviest dive bar. Karaoke, potluck, all the things. I feel like we're in a basement. And she's singing this song. Obsessed. Hey. I do everything for my Oh, everything for my Oh. Okay, we got back to our hotel. <laughs> you can see me. Hi. Look at this gorgeous view. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, we'll pretend that this is in the background. But it is snowing a little bit. Do you see? Do you see? Gorgeous. Let's just go. It's Virginia. Come to mama. There's nothing like bed pizza. So we're going to bed. And tomorrow? The haunt. Our little daytime drive by. This place is ginormous. Oh. All right, 
night, guys. It's the night of. It's Saturday. It's about 6 p.m. It's dark out. We have to be there at like 8 30, 9 ish, because apparently they go like over all these safety protocols and stuff. I tried to take a nap, but um, I'm shitting myself. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. Um, apparently, normally there's a group of like 50 people, like they max it out at 50 people that can go and there's only 19 people going tonight. And like sometimes it's even less cause like some people just like won't show up. Um, so there's 19 people. It's gonna be about 19 degrees tonight. Um, there's no heat inside of this place. So we have like all the hand warmers, all the layers. All of the devices are charging, all the backups are charging, and yeah, they basically said that um, we ran into another ghost hunter. We went into this shop, this like oddities shop, and um, the girl who owns the shop also is a ghost hunter, and she was like, yeah, when it's cold and when there's a small group, the activity is always super high. You are 100% going to have experiences tonight, so... We're about to go try and grab a little food, and um, then we're heading over. Stay tuned. Here it is. Here it is. Eat, drink, and shower. We're told to get home. Besides the little, this more fun than just that shadow activity. And if you've seen TV shows, the Creeper, uh, he's best known for Ward uh, R. So that's on the corner for a bus. And I finally said, you know what, man, I brought you three girls here. You're not even going to talk to them. And then all of a sudden, all three of us here, this is Jack's chair talking about him. She had something like a horse come right in front of her face. So it was to be like reading her, like looking at this. Jack Hear that? Right? It's freezing down here. Clothing. Clothing. Yeah, it does smell something back here. What was in here? Yeah, it kind of smells like a laundry detergent. Oh, weed? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. that was my bad.
Is there anyone in here? Anyone want to touch any of the toys? Are you a kitty cat? <gasps> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I just had a stroke. <laughs> What do you tell you? Yeah, I know. Like, what were the words that said? He told me. He told me. What do you tell you? Was that you on the stairs? What we want. What do you want? This app has not changed the dynamic voices and tones before. Shut up. It hasn't. So it's the same kid. No, I just whispered it. It's whispered. It's whispered. That's what I said. Not like it's there. Move over. What? Move over. You want to come sit down here? Come on. There's cat balls down here. You come sit with us, okay? Is that okay. banging? That is the stairway. Somebody's going up the stairway in the maze. You have to. Right? I don't know. For so long. Is there anyone here? If you're a person, like a real person walking down the hallway, can you say hello? What the fuck? That was weird. I'm sorry to be rude. You're what? Nobody understands. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you not a real person. What do you want us to understand? Yeah, let's take, let's take. Yeah, that's, yeah, let's take. If we can. Did you hear this thing? 
No. Was that you? Were you whispering? Yeah, I just said oh shit. So, wait, what'd you say? I just said oh shit. No, that's no, not what I heard. I was legit whispering. Really? What? Guys. What? No. Oh my god. What? What's your name? Watch your back. What? Is there something in here that you don't like? Are you a male or a female? What's your I'm name? So cold. It is really cold. It is cold. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't go anywhere. Are you? We are cold. <laughs> Michael. Your name is Michael. Is your name Michael? No way what? Did you like being here? Keep looking. He wants to keep moving. He no wants to be here. Are there multiple people in here with us? Stop. Why won't you stop? You don't have to talk to us if you don't want to. Is there somebody in here that does want to talk to us? What happened to you? I feel him. Um, what do you feel? This is on me. What? He broke it. I don't want to. You don't want to talk to us? You can leave if you want. No. How can we help you? I said no. You don't want us to help? Do you want us to leave? Did you like being here? I'm gonna kill you. <gasps> okay. Okay. Should we leave? Do you want us to leave? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Alright, oh, this is um, the fourth floor, which is the most haunted and the most activity. So it's about 1.30 in the morning. Let's go. Cute. 
keep door locked, quote unquote. Is that what the back of the Wait, is that one of the Can see my breath. No, it's the it other It is door. freezing up here. Everybody's like, don't want to go down here. It is freezing. This is like the coldest area. This is hallway one. And then we gotta go like kind of around it. Yeah, this, yeah, we gotta go to the end of the hallway, hang up, a left, and then I think I that one. What was that noise? Yeah, I was gonna say it was like that. It's outside. I know, my phone is like also like freaking out. Yeah. Keeps going lighter and brighter. What? Yeah. Saying, Jesus. I'm hiding. It found. It sounded like there was footsteps above us. Down here, where you're right there, right here. No, no, keep saying that. Just keep looking. The pots are in the high floor. Which might be that the lids open down there, right? Mm -hmm. Like it was like right before. Yeah. Like, the lids open, right? That's what happened last time. It just moves back and forth. Okay. All right, guys. We're back. We're home. We finally left like 3.30 a.m., like got home at like 4, exhausted, passed right out. Um, and then we drove home first thing Sunday. So like, and then it was like another eight-hour drive home. So yeah, so now we're home. Um, and what an insane experience. Also, I just want to say like, I don't know if I ever would have like gone by myself unless someone had like asked me to do it, you know? And like I said before, I love the paranormal and stuff. I'm super interested in it because... I, and I think I've talked about this before, I used to see spirits when I was younger and I've just always been super interested in it. Like, I'm just like always like thinking about like dying, like death, like what are, like what does happen? Like what happens when we die? Um, and this place was just insane. Like there was like this feeling once you were in there where it was just like, I felt sick to my stomach the whole time. Like I just felt off the entire time we were in there. Also, I encourage you to do more research on the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, um, just because it was such like a pivotal moment for mental health and how to treat people with mental health or disabilities. And just like how we treated people 40, 30 years ago when this place was open versus how we treat people with mental health or disabilities now. Um, and that was something too, like when I was with this young girl who had invited me to go with her, her mom had invited me to go with her, she has epilepsy. And one of the things at the asylum was all of this research and these really horrific methods that they were using on epileptic patients, electric shock therapy, like they were doing the lobotomies. Like this was the place where lobotomies were kind of born. They did over 4,000 lobotomies at the asylum. The founder 
of the lobotomy, he actually started his research here um, at the asylum. And just for like a little bit of background too, so it was open in 1864, it closed in 1994. 1864, it actually helped a lot of injured Civil War soldiers. Um, and there's this really old part you guys see like when we're down there with the ball, but also like patients could be admitted for, literally there were lists of hundreds of different things like from asthma to laziness to jealousy to novel reading like if women read too many novels or like were reading books that like weren't kosher um they listed like woman troubles like if you had trouble difficult labor um jealousy there were so many reasons you could be locked up here and the treatment of these patients was horrific it was built for only 250 patients at one time. In 1950, the 1950s, there were over 2,600 patients. There were literally hallways just lined with hospital beds. They ran out of like wheelchairs, out of places to keep people. There would just be people sitting in the hallways. The sanitation was horrible. There weren't enough people to work there. They were running out of money. So like it was just out of control. And it really was kind of this case study of how we treated the mentally ill or disabled. And it doesn't even, it's really not that long ago. Like when 1994 is when it closed. Um, so it's just crazy to think how far that we have come. And I think it's important to tell the stories of these people that suffered at the hands of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum and how we can continue to improve our treatment of people with mental illness or disabilities. And it's just, it is a crazy story. It's, it was like one of the craziest experiences I've ever had. You guys let me know. What do you think by all of the videos I've showed you? Also, if anything is missing, like it was just me going through all this stuff. So like, did you see things that maybe I missed? Um, I'm curious to see what you guys think about the evidence that I had shown and um, yeah, I just encourage you to do some research on it too. Also on the podcast next week, we'll also get James thoughts. So as many of you know, James is not a believer. He doesn't believe in the paranormal. He doesn't believe in life after death. Um, so you'll get to hear all of his thoughts. So stay tuned on the next podcast. We can also do a part two um, if there are certain questions that you guys have. So put your questions below and I will get to them. Thank you guys so much for following along. Love you, weirdos.